Hi, this is Jared from ShoeGnome, and today I want to talk about how to create a nice rendering in ARCHICAD by merging two simple rendering types from the ARCHICAD 18 CineRender engine. So what we're looking at right here is a combination of a white model rendering and a sketch line rendering, which I have merged together in a photo editing software. So let me walk you through the process of doing that. First, you need the two um, rendering settings. Fortunately, uh, the what I did to create that image, those scenes I have saved and included them in my template, which, if you're not aware of, my ShoeGnome open template is available on my website. The link is uh, in the description below, and it is theirs for the taking. It's free. If you want to um, throw some monetary support, that's wonderful, but my main goal with this template is to have it out there for everyone to be able to use and take advantage of. So the two scenes you need are the indoor white model with lights and the simple lines sketch rendering. These are basic scenes that come with ARCHICAD which I have tweaked. The indoor white model with lights, I've just turned on the lights and made one or two other tweaks, and the sketch rendering has had a couple of other little tweaks. So. If you're not actually working on a project within my template, you can click export, save out these scenes, and then import them into whatever file you're working on. So um, you'll be able to implement what we talk about here immediately on whatever project you're using. So the indoor white model I said and mentioned I'd made a couple of tweaks. The other major change I did was turn on ambient based on the recognition of one of my readers who saw an earlier version of this rendering. Makes a huge difference, just adds, I don't know, more weight or something to the rendering. It's hard to explain. Um, so the trick to making these images is you want to do it, you want to uh, automate as much as possible. So you want to create a rendering once with one rendering engine and then or with one scene, and then you want to create that rendering again with a different scene. So a great way to do it is set up a camera with the view you want, and then make a clone of that camera or of that um, uh, camera path, and make two clones. First, you make it with the photo rendering window using the indoor white model with lights scene, and then you clone it again with a simple line sketch rendering, which I have set up in my template, again, for your benefit. So you see here in the view map, let's go over to here now, um, here's the camera once with the white model, and here's all the cameras again with the sketch lines. Um, the next step is you take those views and drag them into a publishing set. So I've made a uh, publishing set for renderings. Again, this is in my template, so it's already there ready for you. Made one folder for white model, one for sketch lines, and have just dragged the cameras over. If you drag the entire camera path, what will happen is um, ARCHICAD will only give you the option to make it as a BIMX file, a movie, or a QuickTime file. So you have to bring over each individually. So once you have that set up, all you do is uh, select your publisher set and hit publish, and then ARCHICAD's going to batch publish everything. So imagine we just hit publish and we've made that, um, but actually we didn't do it in this file, we did it with this view. So the next step would be to go to your image editing software. I use GIMP, so it's, uh, it's great and it's free, and I like that. Um, and so you open up your base image, which is the white model here next step is to go to File, Open as Layers, and we're going to select the sketch lines and hit Open. And it's just going to paste right in over top of the other thing. Since it's the same view from the same camera, everything lines up. You can see turn on and off. I'm going to select the sketch render layer, change the opacity to 50% and change the mode from normal to multiply. You'll find that you might want it at 40% or 60% or there might be some other mode that you prefer more than multiply, but I found 
50% and multiply work great. And there we're done. You know, it takes no time to, to make the rendering or to merge the two views together. You know, we're talking minutes max. So it's a great way to uh, share your model with your clients, especially at uh, early stages, because, you know, if you look at this image, there's not a lot of detail. You know, there's a whole lot more that needs to be developed, but, you know, these two scenes merged together do a great job of, you know, unifying everything, getting rid of the surfaces, and just giving it a coherent look. Um, so I hope you guys will go download my template today and build some things in it and test out these scenes. Uh, or, you know, get the template, export the scenes to your current projects, and create some of these images today. Thank you very much.